Most churches have very poor signage. My word. Uh, it's just amazing to me sometimes when I go to churches. I mean, I go to churches and get out of the car and look around. There's absolutely no sign that says educational building, worship center, anything. And I'm thinking, well, a really, a visitor, what do they know to do? <laughs> Where do they know to go? And then you go inside buildings. And uh, there's, the signage is really poor, really poor. So we need to look at that as you're walking around the church. Uh, certainly uh, take notes on do they have good signage. Uh, auditorium should be light and bright. <clears throat> As a rule, you want lighting in the lobbies, the hallways, the auditoriums to be brighter versus dimmer. Brighter versus dimmer. Because uh, you want it to feel open, you want it to feel spacious. For some churches, the lobby is a real detriment because the lobby is small. In the foyer, the lobby. People come in, it's small, and it feels cramped. Uh, if we can help churches maybe remodel and make it larger, use lighter carpeting, use lighter colors, it brightens it up, it seems bigger, seems more spacious, seems more open uh, in many ways. Sound must be high quality. If you're dealing with people who are putting sound systems in their cars that cost $1,000, $5,000, whatever in their cars, uh, and they're putting these home theaters in their houses, you know, you've got to have better sound in the church. Uh, they're just going to expect it. Uh, now, I don't know if that's appeasing them or if it's just a need or just an expectation, uh, but it's part of the culture. And uh, they're, they're going to expect the church to have a better sound system. Uh, prioritize the upkeep of the ladies' restrooms. We we'll always talk about that. Young parents will evaluate your church by the nursery. 